Hi everyone, in this video we're going to go over how to create a custom rule set for your characters inside the Ogre. So right here we have our first character and we're playing in system agnostic mode so as you can see we have no stats, no attributes, no nothing only some basic information about this character. To begin we go into the customize system panel using this button right here. Here we are presented with different options and we're going to start by adding attributes to this character and for this video we're going to start with the traditional six attributes that are common in role-playing games. So we begin by adding our first attribute by pressing this button and it's going to be strength and for now we're going to leave the dice roll as 1d20 as that is the common one. We press OK and let's add some more. With that we can go back to our character panel, we can do that with the over right here or by pressing on the character portrait. As you can see we now have our six attributes. If you press on any of them you can change the value, so let's say we start with two strength, I'm going to fill all this. Okay, now that those are filled, let's see how they work. Again you press on the attribute and you have the roll button down here. If you roll, you can see our dice, we can see our value, we got a 17. Now, you can choose the resolution mechanic. To do that, you go in again into the menu, again into attributes, and you see these options down here, resolution mechanics. So, so let's say that we use this one, which is roll under, a, roll over a default value. So, let's say that our value is 12, and furthermore, you can also choose if you want to have advantage or disadvantage when rolling. Let's toggle both of them so you see how they work. And now let's go back. Now we go back to strength. And you see that here you have your target number, which the default is 12. And you also have these buttons are here, disadvantage and advantage. Let's do a regular roll for now. And you see the dice, you see the strength. See the bonus, and it has to be the 12, so we got a 16, it's a success. Let's try again. Now, you can change the target number, and let's say we roll with disadvantage. See, we roll two dice, and since it's a disadvantage, the program eliminates the higher one, and we're left with this. If you go back, see that the target number switches back to default, so you don't have to worry about that every time you you change it and you can also add a bonus so now let's roll with advantage and it cancels the lower value and we have our dice our decks and the bonus for that roll and it's a success you can try different kinds of systems not only 1d20 and let's say we're doing something different let's say it's a roll under mechanics so we're going to be rolling under the attribute. This is common in 1D100 games, so let's use strength to illustrate this. In this case, we're going to change the dice to 1D100. Alright, we go back, and now, of course, let's say your strength is something like 45. And now we roll, and see we roll a 25, and we roll under a stat, which was 45, and it's a success. Let's do it one more time with disadvantage. So now we roll an 84 and it's over the 45, so it's a failure. And that's how it works for roll under mechanics. All right, now let's talk about skills. And what we're going to do is we're going to add skills similar to the game World Without Numbers, which are 2d6. Let's start with, let's say, melee skill. And in that system, we use a 2d6, if I'm not mistaken, to roll for skills which is also similar to Traveler. Now let's say ranged again to the 6 and finally let's add a third one and let's call it Lore. Alright, again we have three possible resolution mechanics. Let's pick the this one which is roll over and let's say we have to roll eight or more so if we go back 
we can see that now we have this panel right here which is called skills and if you press on one of them you can increase them let's say we have two lore let's say we have one melee and zero ranged so if we press and we roll and we see our dice and pretty similar to what we had before if we go back into the panel and we check the lower skill let's edit it see that you can link an attribute as in more in most systems your attributes can add a bonus to your skill checks so let's say that lore has to do with intelligence and let's say that melee has to do with strength now let's go back and now if we roll lore we can see that now we have the attribute intelligence plus the two from the skill so let's roll and we have lore plus intelligence and we roll over seven so it's a success again you can also enable advantages and disadvantages for the skills of course and it works the same way also you can change the attribute you're going to roll let's say that instead of strength we roll with dexterity and let's say we roll with advantage so that there we have it and for skills you can also enable the roll under mechanics let's go to the skill panel again and we toggle roll under and in this case I'm going to do something similar to Mothership in which our let's say our melee is linked to our strength and again I'm going to switch to a d100 dice because that's how it works on that system so we go back to our character and again I set our strength to 45 which I changed before and now if we click on melee say its skill is 10 which I think is the basic in Mothership so again we have our we have our strength and now if we roll see now we roll a 97 which is pretty bad but the versus number is melee plus strength so see we're adding the 45 strength the 10 from melee and we have to beat we have to roll under that number that's how it works on Mothership and other and similar systems so let's try one more time with advantage and wow we're just rolling pretty badly here but you can see how it works and here we have success so we roll a 39 which is below the 55 so success and finally let's talk about combat you have this panel right here and if we go into the customized system we have these three options let's start with armor in most games you have a number that you have to beat in order to be able to apply the damage it's usually called AC uh, it could be armor points as well as it's called nave and so on you can also have damage reduction so we have the DR and as you just saw you can change the label to whatever you want if we go back we can now see these two values right here AP and DR and you just press on them and you change them so you know what your values are then we have the add attack button if you press on that we're gonna be adding a new attack let's say our character is wielding an axe so let's say it's a slash slash attack and let's leave it like a 1d6 for now as you can see we have this pretty basic we only have damage right now so if you press on that you can add a bonus and you can roll and we do 3 damage now let's try let's customize that further we go into our system and now let's check the two hit mechanics does the tank have to hit? yes once you do that you'll see that now your combat has the two hit option right here if you press you can roll and now let's give it a resolution mechanic we have here the resolution mechanic none which is the one that we have right now roll over a number which would be the AC of the opponent you're facing let's say that you have to roll over 8 for now and you can also link an attribute to or a, or a skill to the two hit so let's say we are gonna be linking skills again you can roll with advantage or disadvantage if you enable this so let's go back and if you press here you see that now we have a target number that we have to beat and you can choose the skill that you want to use so let's say we're using melee and we roll so to hit a success we roll 18 if you want to select a default now for the skill you open you edit the attack and now you select the skill that's going to be the default 
and here you can change the dice roll that you're going to use so let's say that instead of a 1d20 we do a 2d6 and let's say that this weapon because whatever it has a plus 2 bonus to the 2 hit and it has a plus 1 to the damage we press ok now you see this reflected here now if we roll you see that melee is the first one that is going to be chosen as a default you roll again a success so success now you roll your damage and you roll a 2 plus the 1 and it's 3 damage again the attack to hit and damage value you have more options you can choose you can use roll under again where you will link in attribute and skill to make it similar to the game mothership and if you go to attack damage you can also link the damage value to an attribute which is what you usually do with strength in certain games and you can also give it advantage and disadvantage so one more time if we go to damage see that you can link an attribute let's link uh, let's link dexterity because strength has a 45 right now so we roll and it's a plus 3 it's a 7 and if you create another attack see that all the options that you have toggled in the system are now you can fill them out here as you create the new attack Oh, one thing that I should have probably mentioned earlier, you can also add trackers to your character. For example, let's say we're going to add hit points, which is pretty common. So hit points, let's say that our max value is 8, and we want to show the max in, in the character sheet. So we press OK. And now we have HP right here, 0 of 8, and you can increase it. So it's very straightforward. Now let's say we also want to track, for example, wealth. So let's do wealth. And for the max value, let's do something like 10,000. And we're not going to have a max, so we press OK. And we go back, and now we have our wealth tracker that you can fill. Let's say we have 500 coins, so we have 500. That's how tracker works. And finally, let's say that you want to apply this rule set to another character you have this export button right here where you can give it any name you want I'm gonna leave it like that you press OK and a file is downloaded and now if you go to another character let's say this one that I have right here notice that she has no attributes no trackers nothing if we go into the customized system and now import we can select the file that we just downloaded we press on it and we open and now if we go back, see that she has all the stats, all the attacks, everything from the previous character. All you have to do now is change them. And anything you change here won't affect any other character. So for example, let's say that we make, we make attacks not have the to hit property. So say, see that there is no to hit. And now if we go back to a previous character, it all stays the same as it was before and nothing changes. And that's all for this video. If you want to know more about the Ogre, you can go to ogrevtt.com or to the Ogre's YouTube channel where you will find more videos like this one.